Hey, welcome to the Australian Horse Racing Tips for the 1st of December 2024. Looking at the profit, we had a successful day again yesterday, so that did launch our profit up a little bit. Again, we're now back up to $39.81 on a $30 liability with a total stacked volume on the backside of $178 and the total stake being just up over 28,000. So depending on how you look at that, it's either a 22% return on the outlay or 14.14% on the liability. Now I prefer to use the liability, but it does make it very hard to compare to back systems, which is why we've also got the staked percentage in there. Now for those within the odds, we're still down. It's now only down $15.28 off 523 bets um, on a lot less volume and it's showing a minus 14% there. So not great on that one. But it does show that maybe those that lengthen are the ones that we should be looking at. So if I put in odds and the market thinks it's worse than what I have thought. So it concurs basically with my thoughts and, and thinks it's a terrible option, then it should be a lay. And that kind of makes sense where the market is backing up basically the selection that I made as well. And it's it's just an extra, um, it's an extra indication that the horse really shouldn't be winning that race. So let's jump into today's lays. So let's just have a quick look at how much we did make yesterday. So yesterday was the 30th. For those within the within the odds, we had nine of them and they came out to $1.27. But had you gone and done all of them, which is over here, yep, Rose Hill down, it made $3.01, so almost 10% on the $30 liability which is not too bad. So let's jump into today's selections and I'll just zoom in so we can see them a bit easier and go through them. So starting at the Sunshine Coast, race two, number four, this horse looks outclassed. I don't think it likes a soft ground based on its career and I'm willing to lay that one up to the $1,000 odds. Then we've got Sunshine Coast race six where it's kind of a tale of two races there's a couple of horses that really have a good chance and the rest have no hope so i've got five selections here it's numbers 3 11 12 19 and 22. so number three it hasn't shown enough on its trials and its first run i'm willing to risk up to 200. number 11 is in a wide barrier the trials in its first run were not inspiring so i'm willing to go to 200 on that one number 12's already failed at this distance i Think it's unlikely to make a big change here so i'm willing to go up to a hundred dollars then number 19 i've just got it as no hope it's in a wide barrier it's had three races no wins i'm willing to go up to a thousand the same with number 22 it's up in class it's got a wide barrier and it's had five races for no wins then we jump to sunshine coast race seven where i've got two horses 23 and 24 and number 23 very wide barrier it's not running well enough and it's only had one win from 19 starts. I'm willing to go up to 150 on that one. Then we have number 24. It's a big step up in class. Um, it's had 34 races for only one win. I'm willing to lay that up to the 1,000. Then over in Newcastle, where it is a soft track, uh, race one, number six, it's up in class. It's going to be running at the back of the field. Can't see it catching up, especially on a soft track. Uh, track willing to go up to the 1000 and Newcastle race three number 16 it's had some really poor trials the first run was poor I don't see it improving on that so up to 200 then we have Grafton race one number four I don't think the extra distance that it's stepping up is going to help it's had four runs for zero wins so far but there's not much in this race so I'm willing to only go to 50 Grafton race two number 11's had 28 runs for only four placings no wins it's down in class though, so that's a bit of a red flag, got to keep a bit of an eye on, but I'm willing to go up to the $50 on that one. 
Then we have Grafton race 7, number 17. It's had 17 starts for one win. It's There's a very, very short favourite in this race. It's a dollar twelve on fixed odds. You don't see many dollar twelve horses lose in thoroughbred racing. You can in harness um, and greyhounds, but it's a lot less likely to happen in the thoroughbreds. So I'm willing to, to risk this one up to the $1,000 odds, providing that $1.12 favourite does start. Then we jump over to Warrnambool, where we have race four, numbers 17 and 18. Number 17's had eight races for zero wins. The last race it lost by 23 lengths. I'm willing to go to 500. And number 18's had nine races for zero wins. It's in barrier 16, and it lost its last start by 12 lengths. Again, 500. I've only got 500 on these two because I can't see a clear winner or a, a couple of horses that look like they should win this. It's a it's a fairly poor race. Then we got Warner Bill race seven, number nine. No hope. 20 races for one win. It hasn't got a chance in this race at all. I'm willing to go to the 1,000 odds. Then we got Pinjara out west, race one. We've got 13 and 15. Now, scratchings haven't come through for Pinjara, so I do expect a few of these might be scratched. So 13 and 15 in race one. Number 13 has a wide barrier. It's up in class. It's The closest it's been in its last few races is eight lengths. I'm willing to go to 300. And number 15, it's ran these distances and failed. Now, it's fairly shorter in the odds compared to what I'm normally looking at. It has had five runs with zero wins. I'm willing to only go up to $50 on that one. Then we have Pinjara race three, where I've got 11, 17, and 19. Now, number 11 has a really wide barrier. I think it's like 18. Um, it's a big disadvantage in this race, and it's had 12 races for zero wins. I don't see it overcoming that barrier. So willing to go up to $200. Number 17 is no hope. Um, it's had 17 starts for zero wins, and last race it lost by nine lengths. Willing to go up to the 1,000 on that. And number 19 is, again, a no hope. It's got a really bad barrier, and the three starts it's had are very poor. Willing to go up to the $1,000 in the odds. Then we have Pinjara race four, number 17. I've got it as no hope. Uh, willing to risk that up to 1,000. It's really just got no hope in that race. Then we have Pinjara race five, number 10. It's trials and first run were terrible. Willing to go up to 200. Pinjara race seven, number 11. The barrier is very wide and it's not running well enough to overcome that. And it's running style just doesn't seem to fit. I'm willing to go up to the $500 on those that horse. And Pinjara race nine, number 14, it's up in class and it's in a wide barrier. So I'm willing to go up to $200. Bit of a theme with wide barriers at Pinjara. Then we've got Claire, where we've only got two races, but the first race is race two. Um, I've got three selections, three, 11, and 13. Number three, the closest in its career has been 10 lengths, but it is dropping in class, um, which is most of the horses in this race. So don't be too concerned that the three I've picked in this race are dropping in class. It's um, just a race where everyone is dropping in class. So I'm willing to go up to $100 on number three. Number 11 has had 25 races for zero wins. Again, it's down in class. I'm willing to go up to $100. And number 13 has 13 races for zero wins, and it's dropping in class as well. So I'm willing to go to $500 on that one. It's the worst out of those three. Then we had a Claire race three, number six. It's in a wide barrier. It's had four races for zero wins. I don't see how it wins from this barrier in this race. So... I'm willing to go up to $100. And then Traugen is abandoned. So that's the only meeting we've lost today. Now, all up, there is, I do a quick count, 29 selections. So that should, providing we don't get too many scratchings at Pinjara um, or late scratchings in these races, that should push us up over 950 tips. That's getting to a getting us pretty close, and I will be hoping to hit the 1,000 tips next weekend. Um, I may try to get one of the weekdays out just to ensure that I've just put in those few extra tips 
to hit that 1,000 so that we finish it off next weekend. Once I've hit the 1,000, I'll then do a bit of analysis, put out a video on it, and see where we go from there. Um, I do have a holiday coming up, which is why I would like to hit the 1,000 next weekend. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. If you are having a bet, always remember only to bet what you can afford to lose because, as we've seen, we do lose with this occasionally. Um, 1,000 bets is a, is a good time to start to have a look at it, especially over the time period. It's not the number of bets either. It's, it's also we've been doing this for about six months. I believe we started about July. Going back, yep, so we started in July. So we are definitely starting to get to a point where we can start to see if there's any angles here that are worthwhile taking. And if there is, then we should look at those and scale up where possible. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Um, appreciate that you've watched it. It definitely does help. And I will um, try to get a video out during the week. If you're having a bet on these, good luck. And hopefully we have another successful day. Thanks for watching.